The disappearances of Sydney mum Jessica Bialek and autistic boy Luke Shanbrook this week highlight the fear and anguish experienced by families when people go missing. Every year, 35,000 people disappear. Now, most, like Jessica and Luke, are found within six months, but 1,600 people currently remain on the long-term missing persons list. Eileen Fay's son Anthony disappeared two years ago. He boarded a bus to Sydney from his home in Canberra and hasn't been seen since. It is one of the most difficult types of loss to deal with, of course. Eileen Fay joins us now with Elizabeth Davies from the Families and Friends of Missing Persons Unit from the Department of Justice. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Uh, Eileen, first to you. Um, mm -hmm. Anthony went missing two years ago. He was 29 at the time. Um, what sort of effect does that have on, on the family and the family unit? It's devastating. Mm. Um, it's, it's almost an unbearable loss and um, it's I guess the first thing to say is that every every missing person's family has has a story, and for us that story has meant that we have need to pull together um, as a family and support each other mm. um, to because what what happens is that you don't you just don't know. Mm. So that is the most that's your world of pain. You you just don't know. You don't know where he is, you don't know what's happened, and you don't know when he's coming home and you, they miss out on on family events. We've had two Christmases now without Anthony mm. um, and his grandfather has passed away and he doesn't know that. So as a family that's very very difficult. He, he's one of uh, seven seven children. children. Yes, that's right. Yes. Um, they call that a, a ambiguous loss I, I think. Yes. Uh, the mm. torment, the frustration mm. that you must feel, mm. all of you must feel, mm. it's just horrific. How, what is mm. your strategy to get through every day? Do you think he's going to walk in the door at any moment? What is your thinking? You, you need to keep positive. You need to keep positive and you need to share your experiences with your family. And you do hope that, that one day that, that our story will have a lovely ending. Mm. So we, we support each other. And um, I, I personally do things. Um, I'm involved with um, family and friends of missing persons. Um, I, um, it's the Australian um, Missing Persons Register. I check that daily, not yeah. because I think that Anthony's actually going to pop up on there, but I know and I understand that from that some people do have happy endings mm. and that it's possible. And that can keep you going. And yeah. that can okay. keep, keep me going. Uh, Liz, Family and Friends of Missing Persons Unit is quite unique. It, it's a small unit but dealing with massive problems. Um, talk us through the primary objective of the work that you're doing. All right. Our focus is very much on supporting those who are left behind, so family members and friends when a loved one is missing. We do that by offering those we come in contact with a range of services and in some ways we put those options out there and mm. we let people choose what what it right. is they want to take from us mm. so we offer practical and emotional support because as oh. Eileen said the the ripple effect the ramifications mm. of someone going missing mm. are enormous sure. and it impacts every part of a family's mm. life and 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 the community in many ways mm. so we offer referral information uh, counselling and support and we do that individually we do it over the phone oh, we do yes. it via Skype um, and we have uh, we bring people together mm. because one of the things that is really helpful is for families oh. to connect with others who understand and mm. share their experience mm. right. uh, Liz one of the the difficult parts I would imagine in having a missing person is there may well be some uh, police activity initially and then police will, will, will keep on some cases and, and not others for various reasons. How do you help people through that thought process that the searching may well have, have stopped? We encourage family members to do what feels right for them. Mm. Um, we have a really very positive working relationship with the police both at local area command level and mm. more broadly than that so we encourage people to do what feels right for them and if that is about continuing mm. to search mm. Um, mm. sometimes taking some time out not giving up but saying I need to take a break from this then it's very much we start where people are at and we let them tell us what it is they need mm. Mm. 
I mean, this is day to day for you, right? This is yes. wake up every morning and think wake about it, go to bed every night thinking yeah. about it. Doesn't stop? Doesn't stop. Um, you're in a whole world of pain mm. and you, you need to keep positive and you need to keep your family positive. Um, and, and you need to keep hopeful that, you know, that one day Anthony walk in the door. Right. Mm. And, and that's, what, that's what we hope for. If mm. someone may be watching who mm -hmm. you may know where mm -hmm. Anthony is or Anthony himself mm -hmm. might be watching, mm. what's your message? What do you want oh, to say? My message to Anthony is just call home. You know, your family loves you, we miss you, and we just, we can understand that if he needs to be somewhere else, that's not a problem. We just need to know that he's okay. okay. And that's the sort of thing that all missing families, they just need to know that their loved ones are all right. Mm. Mm. Thank you both very much for coming in. Thanks, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Now, if you have seen or heard from Tony or Anthony, please contact Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000 or via the online reporting page. If you need support, you can contact the Families and Friends of Missing Persons Unit. Uh, the details, of course, are on our website for you.